in this video we're going to show downloading the ThinQ app from the App Store, setting up and installing the app. Now if you do not have an LG account, you'll have to establish an LG account with any email you choose and you can choose your own password. Once that's set up on your cell phone and you get to the screen where you're selecting a product, the product will need to be on. When you go into the product, you go into the home screen, then you go into your home dashboard. This is your quick access to your dashboard, but we're going into the entire dashboard. What we're setting up is your thin queue. So we're going to access the thin queue on the app. We have to select our product. If your app is already on, you may get a notification across the top of the app identifying that it sees a television or whatever device it may be. You can select multiple different types of devices that LG manufactures that has thin queue. In this case, we're going to select the TV and it sees the television because the television is on. In the app, we're selecting the TV. When the screen comes up on your app, on your cell phone, you need to select what network the TV is connected to. If you've connected to multiple networks, it may show multiple networks, but you need to select the network that the TV is connected to. On the app, once you log into that network, Now when it asks about linking an account, you want to link the account. When it gives you the screen that tells you on your phone that it's successfully registered, now you can go to your home screen and you have a remote control, a basic remote control already on there, which you can use that as you see to change the volume or change whatever settings you want. In the app, in the upper right hand corner of the remote, you have another button that will turn the TV off. Now once you turn the TV on through this app, give it a few seconds to go through the network connections to work it. Now, in the app, just like your motion remote, this clear pad that's down here on the bottom right is also like your motion remote. It will move this around on the screen to do whatever you want to do or make whatever changes you want to make. So anything you can do with your motion remote, you can do with this. Now, the more things that you connect, then Q2, the more devices that will be shown just like the TV but they will have different control buttons and each device's configuration and setup to install it in ThinQ is slightly different due to the product, such as a refrigerator versus a microwave versus an oven. And connectivity may be slightly different as software changes over the years and over releases of new software. 